Jack Anderson, author of Washington Money Go Round. What is the Money Go Round? Well, the Money Go Round is what happens to your money and my money when we give it to the federal government. The most inefficient way to spend our money is to let the federal government spend it for us. Uh, they will misspend it, uh, they will buy the wrong things, they will use it principally to, for the care and feeding of bureaucrats. Let me go through a couple of numbers that you uh, refer to very early in the book. You talk about General George Washington spending $8,000 on five top horses, which would be equivalent today to about $400,000, spending about $500 for haircuts uh, a year, which would be equivalent to about $24,000, and from August of 1775 until March of 1776, spending about $6,000 for alcohol, again today equivalent to about $310,000. Why did you put that in the book? Why I put is it important? in the book because uh, it's so typical of the bureaucracy and uh, it's so typical of politicians from the very beginning. Going back to George Washington, he promised uh, to serve the country at no salary. <laughs> so he received no salary, but he turned in an enormous expense account. And we just uh, found those records, and I thought that they were fascinating. So I, for historical reasons, uh, went back to George Washington's time to show that this is the way it's been working all the time. Where did you get the information? Oh, we, we got it out of some historical documents. What's corporate welfare? Well, corporate welfare is uh, benefits that the big corporations get at the expense of the taxpayers. These, these are... Uh, Research that is done by the government for the benefit of big business. Uh, you take the oil industry. The oil industry has been heavily subsidized, or at least indirectly, uh, by the government. We're now in great uh, trouble in Iraq. Uh, for a long time, our embassy in Iraq was really an outpost for big corporations that were doing business with Saddam Hussein. They had a committee. The, uh, they called it the American Iraqi Committee. It was a committee that did business personally with Saddam Hussein. It's the reason Saddam Hussein felt that he was free to invade Kuwait. He didn't think the, uh, the Americans would interfere uh, because he was giving so many good business deals to Americans. And they were taking advantage of it, and they were using the government to get those deals. You talk about this in the chapter called Wall Street Welfare, yeah. page 91. You say farm subsidies grew out of the muddle-headed notion that farmers are a special class that cannot be expected to suffer from the same business losses as the average entrepreneur. That's right. Explain. Well, they, they, they felt that they were entitled to subsidies. It's basically different industries, the farmers being probably among the worst, have felt entitled to be subsidized, to, to have entitlements that we don't hear about, we don't know about. It's like everything with the federal government. Everything with the federal government is, is so screwed up that we have no records that we can really get to the bottom of it. Take taxes. We are spending, you and I, about half of our income uh, on the government. About half of our income goes to pay taxes. But to find out how it's being spent is impossible because there are so many hidden taxes, uh, there are local taxes, there are state taxes, there are county taxes, there are city taxes, there are, there are taxes on gasoline, there are, of course, federal taxes and income taxes. And so we don't realize as we're paying all these taxes just how much in taxes we're paying. Uh, we, don't we don't know how our money is being spent when it is spent. Uh, over at the White House, for example, uh, we get a budget from the president. The budget from the president isn't honest at all. It doesn't come close to being honest because most of his expenses are charged up to other government agencies. Uh, the Park Service 